All right, quick little video, doing a little upgrade to uh, Odin's cage. My Pacific Gopher Snake, that's him back there, being all scary because I'm working around in his enclosure. He's cool, he's chilling. But yeah, so I got this piece of wood a few days ago from a job site I was at. We're uh, building a cell tower in uh, kind of near a golf course and there's a, like some, some little woods nearby. So got me this nice piece of wood. I already had these uh, closet hanger things installed from a piece I had in here before, but because I didn't uh, uh, sterilize the wood properly, it, it after a while, because of the humidity that I would provide for, for Odin, um, it, it molded a little bit. And I didn't want to have that in his enclosure like that. So I got rid of it. And that was like a year ago. And uh, I got on this jungle gym thing that he loves. He climbs on it. But ever, but ever since I got rid of the other piece, I've been wanting to uh, add another one. So I got this piece uh, a couple days ago. I uh, skinned all the bark off. <clears throat> and uh, now I just cut up the edges so that... It could slide, it could slip right into these uh, closet pole hanger things. Uh, but, uh, oh crap. Gotta clean up poop. Clean that later today. But, um, yeah, it, it's a nice piece. It's a nice piece and I think he's going to like it. Um, I'm nowhere near finished with it yet. Uh, I, I baked it in the oven. Uh, no, I don't have an oven that big to hold a four foot piece of wood. I just kept the oven open and, and did it half and half, but, uh, each half, uh, reached 280 degrees, uh, for one hour. So I was pretty happy with that and I tested it with my temperature gun. So I'm pretty sure it's, uh, I'm damn sure it's stable, but, uh, or it's stable, sterile. I'm damn sure it's sterile. So Anyway, um, I'm not done yet. I, I wanted to form it so that it could it could sit in there properly. Um, tomorrow after work, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy some sealer. And uh, I kind of wanted it to look dark, like these pieces of wood, and the one that's already in there. That's this this one is from the same. Uh, time and location and tree that I got uh, these from but uh, this one looks real light colored so I think I'm gonna uh, the sealer that I get it's gonna be stained so that it could be a little darker color that way it could match a little bit better but either way it's a it's a natural piece of wood and uh, I like it and and I think Odin's gonna like it too the last one I had in there it was a little bit thinner than this one but he loved it he climbed on it all the time so I've been wanting to give him another one. So he's going to like it. But uh, I'll definitely do another video once I'm completely done um, with this little project. But I'm excited about it. Hooking up my snakes enclosures, updating them, doing different things to them. Uh, that's half the fun of owning and, and caring for, you know, a reptile or a snake, you know. And uh, I love the way Core's enclosure came out. I just recently added this rock, and it's so cool looking. Oh, and I also recently gave him a new water bowl that's a little bit bigger than his other one. And uh, I haven't seen him in it yet, but I have seen him drinking from it. And uh, it, it was pretty cool. But uh, Core's over here, showing in his hide like always. My Guyana boa constrictor, but his his uh, his enclosure is pretty much how I want it. But I, I've been wanting to do a little something more for Odin for a while now. So uh, even though he's a gopher snake, man, this guy he will climb. He will climb when given the chance. He climbs on his hammock in the winter and hangs out under his uh, heat lamp. He likes his little jungle gym that I got him, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna be staining this piece of wood and uh, making it look nice and nice and pretty for him. But uh, yeah, just 
Wanted to share that. Doing a little upgrade for one of my snake's enclosures. These two enclosures down here, I'm pretty happy with the way they look. Um, this one is not done yet. That's going to house one of my hognose snakes. Uh, once she's big enough, she's in a uh, she's in another small little cage right now. But uh, this one is pretty much how I want it. This is where Porky lives. Where's Porky? Where's Porky, my little hognose? He's probably under here, as always. Ah, there he is. There's my boy. How are you, Papa? How are you? Oh, I see how you are. That's my boy right there. He's going to be breeding with uh, the female that I got him uh, probably in a year or two. But now it's just fun to, to take care of him. <laughs> all right, all right, here you go. Put you back. I'll put you back. But yeah, I still got some more work to do to this one uh, before it's ready to, to for my girl. Her her light thing is still hanging. Got to glue that up. Still got to put a bulb in there. But uh, she's good where she's at right now. Once she's big enough to go in here, then I'll let her go in here. But uh, a little update on my enclosures. Like I said, it's it's just so much fun for me to uh, to hook them up and do stuff to them. But, yeah, so I'm going to be working on this piece tomorrow. Let it dry, and then I'll install it. All right, later.